This is the future. is the future hi guys and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm gonna finally show you my cathedral it is done but before we get to that check out this message so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Okay, this build is becoming much bigger and much more complicated. Well, here we are. Introducing my cathedral. I tried to make all the windows a different kind of pattern and different colored windows because I didn't want to put the same glass in. It looked kind of boring with the same glass, so I wanted to spice it up a bit. I also planted some grass. I've got this nice big flower design on this side, and I planted some flowers and even trees just to make the area around the church look a bit more homey. As you guys can see, this is quite a huge building. I'm actually surprised to see that my hospital is almost just a few blocks shy of the length of the cathedral. The cathedral, I think, is five or, five or six blocks longer than the hospital. So this was quite a, an interesting thing to notice. Okay, let's go on in this is a really a big church so I've got my red carpet I placed the a counter here so that you can put some flowers or something on there we've got the nice big flower design um, I suspended the lanterns with chains as far down as I could going to the front you've got your pedestal where you can preach from nice wooden cross um, so this is the view from this side and uh, as you guys can see the lanterns look nice with the uh, extended chains they I, I honestly tried to make a workable working clock using note boxes but I couldn't get the system to work even if the, the um, circuitry didn't look complicated in the manual it still didn't work um, something is wrong or, or I'm doing something wrong I'm not sure what it is and once I put the power on, it just makes one thing, and then that's it. Um, I cannot operate the clock at all. So I ended up just putting normal bells at the top. So I'm not even going to show you guys what that mechanism looks like because it just doesn't work. Going a bit down, I made a little bit of a prayer corner and the baptism bath. It's bigger than the fountain, so this time you can actually proper baptism so yeah I think that looks quite nice I wasn't sure what to do in this little corner of the church anyway because it doesn't show in the manual what the inside is supposed to look like so I basically did what I thought was right and I'm also starting to notice that we are running out of space I don't have enough space we still have to build villager houses we still have to do the dungeon we still have to do a library we still have to do the barracks and the keep and we are seriously running out of space I'm gonna try and do what I can but 
uh, up to today I've extended the wall which you'll see on the next video and I'm already inside the river so I honestly don't know how we're gonna add or, or fit in the rest of the build but overall what do you guys think of my cathedral I think it turned out very nice there's another addition that I did the next morning which I'm gonna add on this video right now so stick around and I'll show you something else if you guys like this cathedral give me a thumbs up please remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of my next upcoming video but let me first show you the new edition welcome back this is two days later and we have a little bit of a glitchy video because I changed the outlook so I'm gonna fix it for you quickly but what wasn't in the manual that I just added to the build again out of my own is something that's always going with a church and it's called the cemetery I found this cemetery design on YouTube done by another person so shout out to him this looks very very good I actually tried to uh, do a cemetery that looks authentic um, that's not <clears throat> too scary but also kind of creepy looking so I hope you guys enjoy the cemetery yeah on the graves you'll see all my hopes and dreams that died in the cemetery they're all here so funny we put the brown patches of ground to show that there's something dead lying there I've got pressure plates all over the place that looks like uh, walkways I have a fountain in the middle that's kind of the centerpiece I've got a crypt I've got a tomb and I've got a spooky scary tree I did try and make the crypt look um, neglected though I added some cobwebs I added some cracks to the wall some vines and even some creepy shit from the nether so I hope you guys enjoy my my uh, cemetery and uh, once again remember to come back to see the rest of the build um, I'm actually in this moment as we're talking in the process of finishing the dungeon I know the dungeon is supposed to be part of the actual keep um, but I decided to put the dungeon separate from the keep it's more like a jail but it's got different sections it even got a torture chamber and so on so it's a bit um, more medieval than just a normal jail so until next time guys remember whatever you're doing keep it safe until next time cheers <laughs>